In this problem, we have to find the Laplace transform of this definite integral. So one way to do this would be to simply evaluate the integral and take the Laplace transform. However, in this video, I want to show you how to do it um, using something called convolution. So recall if you have two functions, f and g, we can take what's called the convolution of those functions. This is defined to be the definite integral from 0 to t of f of tau times g of t minus tau and then d tau. And the reason that this is useful is it turns out that if you're trying to compute the Laplace transform of a convolution, say you have f and g and you want the Laplace of this, it's like a product rule almost, but even easier. It's just, you're just multiplying. It's just the Laplace of f times the Laplace of g. This thing here, this is called uh, the convolution theorem, right? And this is the definition of convolution. So whenever you have something that looks like this, it looks a little ridiculous, but whenever you have this, you can just do this. You can take the Laplace of it and just multiply the functions. That makes it extremely powerful if you can write things uh, in this way. So in this example, we simply have to identify f and g. So it looks like f is going to be cosine of t. That's pretty clear. And then g of t will have to be 1 in this case because it's not there. So g of t is 1. And if you check, like if you take these and you make it match this, uh, you'll see it does work. In fact, let's do it. Let's just think about it. f and g, let's take the convolution. That's the definite integral from 0 to t. Okay, f of tau. Well, we said f of t was cosine t, so that'll be cosine of tau. And then g of t minus tau. Well, g of t is 1, so g of anything is 1, so this is just 1. d tau. Oh, but look at that. That's exactly what we have. So this is equal to the Laplace transform of the product by the convolution theorem. So it'll be the Laplace of cosine t times the Laplace of 1. This is by the convolution theorem. And if you remember, the Laplace transform of cosine, say, kt, the formula for this is s over s squared plus k squared. The way I memorize this is I just remember cosine has the s. So this will be s over s squared plus, well, k is 1, so it'll just be 1 squared. And the Laplace of 1 is simply 1 over s. The very last thing to do is maybe write this as a single fraction. So this can be written as s over, and then on the bottom we would have s squared plus 1, and then times s, and that would be an acceptable uh, final answer. Again, another way to do this would be to simply uh, integrate, right? You could integrate this and work through it. In fact, let's try it. Why not? Let's just do it. Uh, if you integrate cosine, you get sine. That's because the derivative of uh, sine is cosine. So I'll do it up here. So this is really the Laplace of, so we're integrating, so we get sine t, or sine tau, rather. And we're going from 0 to t. So this is equal to the Laplace of, we plug in the t, so you get sine t minus sine of 0. Okay, so then this is equal to the Laplace of sine t. And the Laplace of sine t, well sine has the k, so it's the same as the cosine formula, except there's a k up top, so it'll be 1 over s squared plus 1. And I just realized that I made a small mistake. Look, I forgot to cancel the S's. Oh, I am so glad I kept going because I would have finished the video and I would have not simplified. <laughs> Worth it. So obviously this is much easier, right? But uh, most of the time you can't just do this. Most of the time you get an integral here that is just completely ridiculous. Like you, you it's really hard to do. You wouldn't want to do it. Um, so yeah, I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world who happens to be working uh, on this uh, type of math. <laughs>